This is Mark from Alaska Outdoor Adventures. We're in South Africa in the Limpopo province. We're hunting with Hurt Cronier from Adubi Safaris. From Adubi Safaris. My buddy, <laughs> Gert Cronier from Adubi Safaris. The first morning headed out to the shooting range. Say hi, Steve. Howdy. This is our head number one guide, PH Gert. Morning. Say hi, Gert. Morning. How's everything today? Fine, thanks yourself, sir. Oh, what a beautiful day, huh? It is, uh, it is. And it's going to turn out to be oh, much more this better. Is, this is wonderful. The sunrise was beautiful. We didn't get to see much of it because of the hills, or what hills there are, the trees, I guess. But yeah, it's nice. And the lodge is top notch. We got good accommodations. Right here, the tractor shed is right there. That's where we make Steve sleep because he's <laughs> he's a horrible snorer. He sleeps under the tractor shed there. Oh, well, there it is. There's the tractor shed. That's where we keep Steve at night. And then we'll look back at our lodge. And there's our lodge right there. That's where we spent the night. Our mates are back there getting ready to get in the other truck, come along. So far everything made it except for one bag. Travis's bag didn't get here, his clothing, his bow got here, but not his, not his clothing, not his regular luggage. So he's going to borrow my pants, which probably would, could fit two Travis's in my pants. This is the country we're going to be hunting in. Very thick. Much thicker than I thought it might be, given all my preconceived notions. Doesn't look like we're going to have very many 100 yard shots, does it? We've made a short ride to the shooting range. There's the benches. There's our Skinner. And here's the couple of our hunt. There's <laughs> Travis. There's our other PH. That's Anthony over there. Say hi, Anthony. That's why hello, hello. Hi, Anthony. How's everything? Right. It's going to be a good day today. Well, I know it. I know that. Apparently, there's Impala on the shooting range. So we'll go take a look at those if they're still there. Here's the shooting range. Oh yeah. This is our shooting range. Oh, he's down there. Here, run that. Sure. Down the, yeah. down the left yep. side. I did see, I thought that was them. And I, huh? I thought that was them there on the left. And then. I can't even see them really without the binoculars. Yeah. A couple of Impala on the range. He's right in front of the 400 yard target. He's just standing right in front of the 400 yard gong. Oh yeah. We're just gonna put that away for now so that somebody else get a chance and then if they are done, we're gonna use it. I already said it a bit. Yep. Head's gonna make his best attempt to hit the target. It is at 50 yards, so it's quite a challenge <laughs> for Ed. Whoa, perfect shot. Ah. Beautiful. See if you can do that again. <clears throat> I'm not going to let you shoot twice. Eh? That shot is okay. perfect. He was a sniper in the Royal <laughs> National Air Force, so. It was a Swedish. <laughs> Swedish <laughs> National? On the Swedish. Mr. Travis, would you like to take yes, a shot with that driver? On the Swedish National Men's Bikini Team? <laughs> I didn't know they had snipers on the Swedish national men's bikini team. No, it was the women's team. It was the women's team? 
because you were so effeminate, they let you on the women's team. They checked your testosterone levels, and your <laughs> testosterone levels qualified for the female team. Not really team. the same way. I went on the women's team because then I'd be closer to more women's. Oh, 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 oh. I see. This is the afternoon of the first day, Friday. We just finished lunch. And this is where we're staying. Here's two bedrooms with four bunks each in it. And a nice fireplace area right out back. And now we'll go into the into the lodge. There's Travis studying his animals. Figure out what to shoot next. There's Steve. <laughs> Travis, come in and tell me what all these animals are. Oh. You're you're studying. I am not. That's Ed. It's Ed. Oh, well now this is our dining area. We just had a wonderful lunch right here. And we got Gums Buck, Water Buck, Kudu. I I really don't want to be rude. Yes, really. Can I go in some of my clothes for the time being till they find your bags? And then uh, my wife is going to That's an impala. Can she buy you a new pack of Underwear, maybe. You started to notice the smell too? <laughs> no, no, sir. Uh huh. I just, you must be very uncomfortable. Well, we all didn't want to have to say anything, but. I'll well, see, I'll have all my pictures in the same clothes like I killed everything the first day. <laughs> well, anyway, well, you know, we have things we'll gladly let you borrow too. So, so I, I will borrow you some of my shirts and some of my pity shorts, and then I'll just, I, if you can just give me your size, I will let my wife put you a pack of underwear. Sounds good. Alright. Uh, She'll be in about an hour's time. Okay. Then. That sounds good. Then we can quickly sort it out. Sounds good. Thank you. I'm always afraid to uh, offering something like that oh, to no. somebody, but because I'm always afraid they no. they think I, I try to make fun of them, but that's really not the case. No, no worries. Don't worry about making fun of them. We do it all the time. My yeah, Mark's used to that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gert. I got one question for you. Remind me what. This second animal is going in. It's a Nyala bull. Sir. Nyala bull. Okay, good. All the rest I think I know. The fourth one is a water buck. Water buck, yep, yep. I called that one right. There's the impala. And then in here, this is an Eland first. The first one is the Eland. Eland. And then. Bless buck. Bless buck. And then another Gems buck. Yes. And a leopard. That's correct, sir. And then in here we have Gems buck. Or oryx, but you guys call them all gemsbuck. Yes, sir. And below the gemsbuck is a zebra, and that's a what kind of zebra? Birchill. Birchill zebra. That's the kind of zebra I'm going to shoot. And then we have another, two more blessed bucks. White blessed buck. White blessed bucks, and then a common springbuck. Springbuck, and another kudu. Then it's a wild black wildebeest, wildebeest. Yes. and a nice kudu. And a gems buck, and then red heart of beast. A red heart of beast, and then a, a sten buck. A common spring buck on the top. Spring buck on the top. Black spring buck on, on the black bottom. Black spring buck on the bottom. And then of course the black impala. And then the black impala. I'll have to get over here to get a pic shot of the black impala over here. And that's the kind of the. TV area, the lounge area, and there's the kitchen over there with the fine ladies that help feed us. And then we have down the hall, nice painting of some zebras. And then the rooms we stay in in here, there's my bed on the end, Steve is sleeping here, there's all my junk on the bunk, 
and going into the bathroom you see we have a nice big tub nice shower sink everything we need to stay comfortable for the next 10 days Anna. I have the shirt that Carol bought me on and her hey. dad Hey Jungle Jack Hannah, what are we doing today? We're looking for, for the wrong I don't We're know why that medical attention for well, you. I don't know why that branch had to be in the way during an important <laughs> video. Well, we're gonna find a zebra for you and a gimsbuck for me. If these thorns, and whatever else comes. If along. these thorns don't take me out, how are we doing fun. today? <laughs> doing fine. Gert. Thank you for asking, sir. Hello, Barry. Hello, Lucy. How are you? I'm fine. Sir. Good. Thanks. All right. I'm excellent. This is our third day of our hunt, right? Yeah. Here, let me see and that today, for a minute. And today, just hold on a second. I'm talking here. I'm gonna turn it around and get you. I know, but in a second, I'm arguing with the man <laughs> with the camera. <laughs> today, we're gonna try and get you a gems book. Yes. And me a zebra. Yes. You're gonna get a very small gems book. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to get a very nice zebra, right? Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Here. Whatever it takes. All right. Oh. Old man. You're an old man. Okay, what did you guys just do? We just get it, killed a beautiful, beautiful old kudu bull. How many, how many years old is he, do you think? I think this bull is going to be close to between 12 and 15 years old. That's he's, old for a kudu bull. He's amazing. He is amazing. And we looked for him how long? Uh, seven days. Seven days we've been hunting for this guy. He is amazing. Now, what do you think he weighs? I think he's going to weigh probably very close to 700 to 750 pounds. Wow. And we think he's probably 56 to 57 inches, inches long, which is a, an amazing guy. Wonderful bull. Yeah. yeah. No doubt. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, final uh, of my... Uh, animals for my hunt and uh, what a dream come true. Right, and what else did you get? I uh, got a sable. Wait a minute, well, let's talk about that sable. That sable is huge. He's uh, huge. 40 something. We're keeping, it a we're keeping it a secret for right now, but I think I know how big he is. He's huge. He's, He's huge. 43 <laughs> and 43 and something. <laughs> Anyway, he's huge, and you got a hell of a nice Gemsbuck. Gemsbuck? Yeah. And a very nice Impala. Uh -huh. Yep. Right, and we still have three more full days, three and a half yeah. days. So you're going to get a zebra and. To put with my crocodile, and I'll yeah. probably try and get a. Uh, well, and tonight we're going to look. Yeah, we're, we're going to. Night hunt for porcupine. Yeah. Cat. Yeah, we're yeah. going to do some night hunting. Might get an Impala, might get a pig. We expect Ed to so come that's home good. with his water buck tonight. Yep. All right. Well, okay. Wonderful but we'll, hunt we're all having. We're all having a great hunt. All right. We'll check back with you guys later. All right. Cool. All right. There's Ed and Travis getting in their seats. They're going to go look for a less buck. You guys are going to go look for a blast book and what? A, a wildebeest? Zebra. Uh -huh. We're going to go look for a zebra and you guys are going to go for a blast book and what? Wildebeest. Wildebeest, yeah. Our able bodied skinners and trackers right here. We have Barry. Barry. I say hi, Barry. And your friend's name? Simon. Simon. Say hi, Simon. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? Fine, fine. Everything's good. Are you coming with us to get a zebra? All right. Thank you. And and there's Gert. Could you take our picture, please? Or anyone? And there's Anthony. Thank you. All right, you're getting your picture taken. I am? Yeah, over this okay, way. Okay, well, I'm not done saying hello. <laughs> so we're going to go get a zebra, and they're going to go look for Blessbuck and Wildebeest, Blue Wildebeest. And we're going to see them guys later. Oh, 
Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah, he is. Beautiful. Yeah. The rare brown giraffe. Ha <laughs> Got a nice view of his face. <coughs> It's a, it's a young bull, Nyla. Yeah. Which are already a, a, a grown out bull, but it's not mature yet. Uh -huh. We haven't reached maturity. So how old is he? He's about three and a half to four years old. So. Uh -huh. And when will they start breeding? Excuse me, sir. When will they start breeding? They will start breeding from the age of two. Aha. Uh -huh. If there's no other bull in there, the young bulls will start. You're on, Mark. All right. And so we're looking for a, a, a miniature zebra for you, right? The best zebra ever. Yeah. And I heard that uh, that we're going to be able to do that for you. Well, gosh, I hope so. We have lots of people helping. A we have. A 10 or 12 year old miniature Kopi. zebra. We have Kopi in the driving. And our friend here, his name is Kirk. Kirk, that's right. Kirk is helping. He's the manager of this property, okay. owner of this property. We have our own master guide, Gert, and Barry is helping. So how can we how can we possibly go wrong today? We can. It's we beautiful. already have gone right by being here. That's right. Uh, and our lucky charm is also here. It's beautiful. Yeah, get a shot of him. Where go? is he? No, I'm hi. talking about my son. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in his ear brock. This is a zebra. Found dead. What do we think is the cause? Could be H. If you look at the air loss here, uh -huh. could be H. It's hard to tell, huh? Certainly someone's been feeding on it. Who was feeding on it? The only problem is there's no head. Yeah, so we can't really see if it's been... Oh. Uh -huh. So, uh, what animal's been feeding on it, do you think? Uh, Vultures. Vultures and jackals. Nice. Brown hyena. Brown hyena. Brown hyena. And this was an adult. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. But it's been here for a long time. Long, mm -hmm. long. More than three, four weeks. Hmm. Oh yeah, this must be at least a month. Yeah. <coughs> at least a month. Broken leg bone. Well, it's been chewed off. Uh, there's no animal that would eat the roof, you know. Uh -huh. you know it's funny. Oh. Three others are there, only one missing. And to break such a big leg bone, a, a hyena could do that. Yes. Oh, there's the other. Yes, the other. But it's been chewed on. It's a kawala on the roof. Brana ina. They chew on anything. And she will cause a lot of damage for the property. Ah, uh, this is uh Of course you have to catch for leopard her and the cub now. Leopard track right here. You can compare it with a pack of cigarettes. Uh-huh. Right. And then show me there's the other foot. Now show me uh, the cub. I think I saw a small one back here. Bruno, you Bruno. Bruno, make a bunch and we'll call them the cub. Bruno. Bruno. Find another one. Bruno is making a lot of leopard cub tracks right here. These ones right here. Right? Yep. 
there. It's a cub track. Forward a bit. There's another. Some more. Uh-huh. Well, okay. so, will they have uh, one cub? Only one cub. Only one cub, okay. yeah. Only one cub. All right. And yeah, as yeah. you can see, it must have been either last night or early morning sure. because they drove here yeah. yesterday. Yeah, uh -huh. there's Such the female, the there's the adult female. Yep. Yeah, you can see nicely yep. just the Fruit. adult. Yep. And this, this is the cub. Right. Look at the difference yes. in size. Yep. There's the cub. So how old is this cub? This cub. First year? Definitely his first year. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. Good. Yes, I see him. Yep. Come all the way from there. So is this cub still on milk yet, or how long are they on milk? They will be on milk for about a year. Uh huh. But they will slowly start. The the mother will slowly start feeding him all sure. tender pieces of meat. Zebras, tender pieces of zebra. <laughs> That's correct, sir. <laughs> you you can also see the difference pretty well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see them. Yeah. Very nice. What are we looking at, Gert? Sable, sir. Uh huh. It's called the Matechi sable. Two big bulls, or yes, nice sir. bulls, but. This one, is, is a, the, both of them are mature bulls, mm -hmm. but they are not what we are looking for. We sure. are looking for a specific bull. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't the they? The one on the left is, is quite, a, quite a very good bull. The one further back? Yes, sir. That's quite a very good bull. You can see on the tip of the horns, it's much longer uh -huh. than this one over here. So the story about it, this one will be an older bull than that one because the tips are much shorter. Could you ask him to back up just a little bit? That's perfect. That's good. How old are these bulls? Both of them will be over eight years old. So. Eight years old. Yeah, he knows it too. <laughs>
in the human histology, part of the family. Well, they are right about that. They are yeah, part of the family. Part of the family. What a nice looking dog. Snoopy. Snoopy. <laughs> Girly. Uh, he's, he's the greeter. He's making sure no one comes in without being greeted properly. That's his position. <laughs> the lookout. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Where'd see, the other one go? Right there behind that bush. Oh. See his one knob is bent over a little bit. Yep. Oh, maybe this is the one that Ed was talking about. Oh, yeah. Crooked, yeah. crooked horn giraffe. That bone is part of the skull. Uh huh. Wow. Now you can see, spot the difference easily. So you see the male mm -hmm. on top of the horn. Mm -hmm. There's no hair. Right. With the female, there's hair on top of the horn. Oh, little knob of hair. That's, that's one of the easiest ways. Plus, it looks spot. like he's got a penis in his front, under his belly. You can yeah. see that as well. So, but <laughs> if you hunt them and they're in the bush like this, yeah. there's, there's no way you can see it. That was just that's teasing. only. Uh -huh. Ooh. He's cool. He tries to show off. <laughs> uh -huh. Very nice. Can you shut the motor off for just a sec? Gert, no, 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 no. Gert, what, what are we looking at? Looking at the giraffe bull, sir. He looks like a very old bull. It is an old bull. It's a very nice dark bull. It would have been a wonderful trophy yeah. for somebody that's looking to shoot a giraffe trophy. Yeah. So how old do we think he is? That bull is going to be around 13 years, 13, 14 years. Wow. Very nice. And is he... Uh, how tall is he from the ground to the top of his head? Well, sir, I would say around about between 50, uh, 14 and 16 feet, sir. Ah, very nice. And he will weigh about, roughly, I would say he weigh, will weigh about dressed anything between, I would say, 1,400 to 1,800 pounds. Right. It's very majestic, huh? Oh, yeah. Very nice. If you would just look back over this way, that would be great. There he is. Mm-hmm. Hey. We're recording. Oh, it's too late to hey. see. Hey. Okay, let him go. We had a wonderful time. We, uh, me and three of my friends were here for 10 days. You guys put us on the game every day. And, uh, you know, we couldn't be happier. We've got, what, 16, 17 species? 18, 18 species yes, here, sir. ranging all the way from a wonderful crocodile to the majestic kudu. We've got gemsbuck, we've got waterbuck, we've got fantastic impala. I mean, these, are, these impala are great. Warthog, sable. we've got sable, we've got zebra, zebra. we've got uh, um, the cat. Uh, genet cat. Genet cat. And honestly, we couldn't have been happier. You know, the meals have been fantastic. Your whole crew, you have one PH that he's just a little, 
He's a little work, but other than that, he's a, he's, he's a great guy. Anthony, your head number one PH. You know, we couldn't be happy, even your dog, Bruno. Great tracker. Your trackers are amazing. You know, we couldn't have had a better time. And I just want to thank you very much for everything. I thank and you. And what we're going to do is we're going to put your contact information at the bottom of the screen so that everybody knows how to find you. And um, give us your email address if you like. Yes, I would like to. Uh, our email address is idubesafaris.com. Info at idubesafaris.com. There we go. All right, again, thank you very much, buddy. We couldn't have had a better time. I just want to take the time Fantastic. and thank all of you guys for your patience and for the wonderful trip you Oh, we didn't need patience. We didn't need <laughs> patience. All we needed to do was do what we told. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank this you is so amazing. much. And thank, thank you to everybody else. I remember the summer, but not the rain A memory of fire, but not the pain There's a vision in my head of a gun on the bed A message in your eye, which your lips never said If you touch me now, I will fly Like a bleeding dove I want your pocket down love I'm on the long way And I'm ready to fly I know I'm going to find you Under the sky Oh, yeah It's a mighty fine day Oh, yeah You are coming my way With your pocket down love I want your crocodile love I want your crocodile love I want love I want your crocodile love I want love I want Okay, you're on. I never quite know what you're gonna do. Heal my soul, I've got me through. Like a sacrificial lamb, like a green marine in Vietnam. If you touch me now, I will fly. Put it on top. Put it again to my other eye. Put it on top. 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 Put